house in John. What's going on? Daily recap. Oh, oh. Man, man, oh man, did the market drop like a rock. Got hard. Got hard. Oh. I mean, into into Powell, you know, you expect that. You expect a big move down. Ooh, man. We got a lot of stuff going on at the bottom, though. I mean, we fixed, they fixed, they literally finally fixed the stuff that they left uh, on these moves up, Dobbs. That was a big, a big moves up. A lot yeah. of moves up. Yeah. And we hit, we hit, we hit time up there. That's where we hit. We hit that monthly up there. So it needed to come back. It did an exaggerated move from the bottom all the way up. I mean, yep. it, it moved hard. All right, let's get into it. Let's, let's look at these charts. Let's look at them right now. Let's put them up and see where we're at right now in the yearly. The yearly, we're, we're going to go back to this yearly. This yearly, I mean, it holds a lot of keys in it. Um, You know, we, we hit that gap area, that day, that gap. We hit the monthly. Uh, in Tapal today, and even overnight, you, ha you had – I think after midnight you have nothing but sales, but we'll go over that in a second. But let's look at this yearly real quick and be very uh, mindful what what it's doing. Um, and we've discussed this before uh, when they're going to flip it into the early month. Same thing is here that that's going on. Um, so we finally got our, our big green day, which took out highs, which is literally this day right here, right? Um, this is actually breaking the trend, but in order to break a trend, right, we need to pull back and hold halfbacks. Um, and not necessarily the candle that went up, it's a prior candle. And, and this is kind of the scenario we're looking at right now. You know, we had a big exaggerated move up. There go the bell. We had a big exaggerated move up, right? And we, we never went back and test any halfbacks on any time frames. But the fact that we're coming back into this area right here, which is the interesting area. Remember, this is the first, this is kind of the, the day that if the market was to continue to go down, this is literally when they wicked and, and bounced the market back up um, on this time frame right here, during this time right here, which is literally, this is the last halfback that actually held right here. And what we're really doing is that we're coming back into this area, to this candle, which held that halfback which is very interesting. Today was a, a continuation play off of the fact that this uh, meeting was going on with Powell. And you could kind of saw it in, in London's clothes, what they did and how they sold it. And we'll go to a small time frame. We'll see that. But this area down here is very crucial. Uh, I think we called 84 and then close above 91. And we're going to see a move back up. And I mean, right now we're, we're close at 91. Um, I said 90, if we don't go above 91, we're going 84. I, I was kind of off on the price. I think the price is down here at 83 something. But I mean, if you bought 84 or took it down there, it was good. It was a good sell from 91 to 84. Um, and vice versa. I think the, the move up was there, but it didn't display the move up. So there was in the day, there was no, there was no signal to go long. There was no real clear signal to go long. I mean, you could have scalped a little bit, and uh, you could do that. But realistically, the, the trend was down, and we'll go over that as well. Uh, but yeah. this area down here, uh, I mean, look, we're, we're, we're literally hitting the low of this candle. As And, and take it for example, um, I was okay if it ain't hit it because we didn't hit this high. Understand that we didn't hit this high. We didn't really have to come down here and hit this low. So that, that scenario is kind of, you know, that we did hit this low. It's a possibility that now we swept this low or hit this low. We could literally, you know, destinations up here, but we could literally come back up and, and hit a high um, because we hit a we hit the low of that candle. And <clears throat> if you really think about it, we're, we're that candle held half back and we're, we're literally holding on to here. It's not saying that we're going to continue to move up, but on the yearly, so I'm be mindful about it. So I'm going to look at it. Um, it's doing what we what we thought it would do over here. So, you know, that's the scenario that we're kind of basing off of here. That uh, we made a big high, just like this candle right here. So got some took out some lows like this. See, took out all these lows. This last low it took out right here. Um, and then we're coming back into that area. 
So look, right back into this area, which is it's literally right here. You know, I might have said 91, but this this high low halfback is it's literally right here. It's it's interesting to see. It. Regardless, we play was on the chart at the time that we're trading, and we'll go into that in detail in a little bit. But um, we're still looking for a move up in this, I think. Um, as for now, it, it's still holding the lows. We're not breaking. A, a, if we break this low, then we're coming down. But as of now, this move down was to fix itself. Let's go on a, on a four hour, and then we'll see this. See, here's the problem with the four hour. We never tested this halfback. We tested this halfback, and then we start failing. Look, boom, failed halfback. Boom, failed halfback. But look what it kind of did down here. You know, and all we did was just, you know, go back to what London's open and London's high, whatever, right here. Kind of held right here. So it's kind of interesting, the area right here. This little area is interesting. Um, this is an area that they bought it up and is also a gap area, which we kind of closed the gap into today. That's kind of interesting. We could, can we go down more and close another gap? I think there's probably a gap down here. I'm not sure. Actually, no, the gap was topside, right, Dobbs? That was that was the last gap. This yeah, was the, the day only, that uh, 200. Only, yeah, the only gap that I know of is right Asia's, here. Asia's gap down there around 3960. That yeah. is Asia's gap. Yeah, right here. Close. We could still go down there because look how that matches up with this with this four hour here. Because London went home, New York went home. Only one's left is Asia. So, so really th this area is going to become a buy area, and the fact that they sold into that prior to that meeting today, we could possibly see a move up, right, and then come back down here, and that literally addresses that Asia. Yeah. Um, but remember, when they sell, they want to sell those highs. They're not looking to sell these low. Um, and how, you know, kind of how we're closing now. Can we can we do one of these and then pop up? Yeah, we could do that. We could do this and then hold up here somewhere. And then just make our way up. Um, and that, that's very possible because, you know, right now, um, a lot of people are probably buying around this area. So they could drop it more on them. This area is price based. So they could drop it on them. And then, you know, the market opens and then we, we, we make our move up, but they're still losing. You know what I mean? Because they bought here. So they're down anywhere around and it does this and then it takes off until Friday. So yeah, the scenario could be into that Friday's report. We got a non-farms payroll on Friday. We also have um, the Fed still talking. They're talking the rest of the week. So, you know, I was trying to say about like this area that's very important is that the fact that, you know, we're at the lows. If the Feds are going to talk again tomorrow, we could literally go back to where it sold it and they could come back up and they could come back down and continue this whole scenario just like this sell high buy low and and continue that we already know that they were very aggressive off the 200 um you know if if if, if Powell's talking tomorrow again i think at 10 it, it couldn't necessarily just run up it, it has no reason not to you know um and the reason i say that is because that report now would have made sense to go up to 50 if they were talking again nah it, it wouldn't have done it in one day so the possibilities are there and, that, and, and and we could, you know, A, go down and then they, they boost it up into that report. But remember, he talks at 10 a.m. So uh, who knows how that's going to look. And you have uh, Blair talking on or Barr talking on uh, on Thursday. And the reason these two are very important is they're they're actually uh, voters. And Powell's a voter because he's the he's the head of the feds. But uh, Barr is is also voters here. So it's, it's crucial. They take that very in consideration what they're saying. Does it matter? Absolutely not. It does not matter. Doesn't matter at all. 100% doesn't matter. Uh, the market had a pullback and that they took full advantage to take uh, to fix themselves over here. They might have just ran up just into that. But um, if they're talking tomorrow, we're probably going to see them move back up and then down. Like I said, they want to sell the highs. They don't want to sell the lows. Um, and it could possibly just move up um but we'll play for where it is like i said this is just a bigger picture let's move down into uh 30 minute and then a 15 minute and we'll wrap it up we got a new mic tonight so the audio should sound great on the videos uh we should be full force with the videos the podcast will be um be 
will be advertised more and we should be all right with that. Um, we are still looking for a move up. Um, I think whatever they, whenever they could get it over this half back on the yearly is really the one that, I mean, half back on the monthly is really when they're going to get this market moving. If they see that half back, you could literally see that they're going to take, they're just going to take all these highs. Um, will it happen? It's yet to be seen. Do we care about it? Absolutely not. We're just looking at the overall picture of the market and seeing what they're doing. And even on the, these four hours, you see how price went down, we swept the lows, came back up, came back down. This is kind of a scenario we're probably going to move into in the next uh, days into Friday. And it, it's funny because uh, we broke up into a Thursday. Friday, they bought it up, made a new high, right? Look at Tuesday and Monday. Monday, they made a high, and then they came back down into Tuesday, which is interesting, right? And look at where we're at. We're literally like sweeping lows of this is the 9 a.m. candle, and then we're sweeping down here. And look what look what we end up doing into uh into the next day. You know, like we moved up, came back down, swept that low, and then we literally, you know, what we were talking about that it probably has to go down and sweep uh and get Asia uh, at the lows or so. Which is probably right uh, around here. See, it was Asia. And this is probably the move that we're probably going to see. Um, but the scenario is that right there. And literally here, we're literally holding half back of these candles. Now, does it have to hold it all the time? No. But as you see, um, they're selling the highs. And look, this is a perfect example because this is a monthly right here. So, you know, they got to the monthly once. We This is literally what we did yesterday, and we sold off, swept the lows, right? And then this is probably what we're going to see, you know, some outrageous move up, uh, maybe go sideways or yeah, go sideways into Asia. And this isn't really sideways, but you can make money off of this. And then uh, 1 a.m., shoot it up to the highs with New York. Um, and then as they speak, well, yeah, as, 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 you know, as, <clears throat> as the feds talk, they sell it back down and then do this type of scenario and then sell it off and possibly into Friday be, be a buy for uh, the non-farms. Um, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, this is the yearly and uh, it's literally playing out the way we, we kind of uh, predicted it would. Uh, like I said, does it matter what they do? No, it doesn't, but we're going to hold it there. Let's go down to a 30 minute time frame and we'll take it from there. As you saw, this was a prior day yesterday, ran up there, hit the monthly halfback. Um, and here goes into Asia, just a perfect example. We, we hit that uh, area right here, which is the high of previous candle. This is the high of the, of the, of the daily. And we kind of, trade ahead of uh on the top side of it um kind of was a buy here hit target after i think in 21 uh by nine o'clock this became a sell to the lows um into into uh into 1 a.m it was still a sell but then london's close came back up here and they sold the same price so london didn't let it go down into the report they ain't let it go down into the report. They held it. They held it. And then they started selling into 5 a.m. 5 a.m. they sold. And then literally uh, 7 a.m., you know, this was the opposite of prior day. We had swang the, sw swept the high, and now we we're going to sweep the lows. Um, and if you literally just take, I think I put this, if you take the highs of this candle, right? Let's take the highs at that lows and you see kind of what what was going on we had high we had lows and this half back this is on 30 minute so you can literally do this and see where it's headed and then with our setup for asia you saw that the play was going up to the highs from half back it went to the highs up here at the highs it started failing couldn't get above the highs start rejecting the highs and then it went straight down to the lows um so, you know, even though this is a macro picture, you're not going to use this. We use it on a small time frame because we're trading at the time. And and you can literally set up like this and be like, oh, okay, I see what, what's going on. 
it was a sell into the report, into the meeting. Uh, as soon as they attend, the meeting started. They sold it. The guy didn't even start talking yet, and they sold it. So that's just how they do. Uh, they sold it down. It went down to half back on the daily. Try to recover itself into London's close, pop back up, and became a sell. I mean, literally a sell. Um, it became a sell into London's close, and it just drifted down into uh, 1, 8, 1 p.m. It drifted down, and it hit. It swept the candle. So here's a perfect scenario, the whole um, scenario of it. This is the high on the daily, right? High, right? This is half back, right? And this is the low. So take that into consideration of what's going on. Um, we break this low, it's, you know, we're going to go down for more movement down. Um, if not, where's the possibility that we might go back to? We might go back to London's close. Um, as of now, there's certain things that are telling us that that could happen, especially the fact that, uh, like I said, the Fed's going to talk. Um, and I said, put the fibs on it to see if we do bounce. Uh, I thought we would hit 07 and then come back up and possibly, you know, trade between this price and possibly sweep, um, sweep the high of that candle because it was after, uh, it was the drop coming into the meeting. And it usually does that with reports, but they didn't stop talking until, I don't know, it was late in the day. So the move was already down and at London's close, they tried to do it. And as you saw it, London's close, this candle, I think on a 15 minute, you just saw that they, they, they gave it up. So as you saw, you saw the first candle up into London's close, right? We were trading above it. And this house, the scenario was we were holding the lows. We came up, we hit the top side. If you took London's close uh, for a long, you got paid. Um, and then right here was key and it didn't hold it. So after this candle right here, or in this candle, you probably got a signal to sell and it was a perfect sell. And uh, we continue to trend down. Like you said, like I said, I put the fibs on this breakdown candle and we literally went down to 87. If you took 1300, uh, the 1 a.m. I mean, the 1 p.m. candle, it literally went down to 88 and hit target. Um, this little drift at the end was just rejection of that 91, which was an important price on the yearly, and it just drifted down to 81, which was a sweep of high, half back, low. So now we have our low right here. If it doesn't hold, then we're going to break down some more. Um, we, go, we can't anticipate what the market is going to do, but we set up in order to, to take these plays down or up. Um, and we're cautious of areas, but we're not, we're not jumping into plays when we don't have a, when we don't have a, a, a trade to go long on. If, if here we held down, we came down and held halfback, and then we're moving up above this halfback, then what does that mean? That would have meant that we would have held the price I was holding, like 17. We get above 17 here, hold here, and then the, the move is up here. It's to sweep that high. It didn't occur like that, and literally once we fell that half back which is london's close we we went down and swept the low and then 1300 like literally right here in this candle we went and took out the lows so it was continuation play um and at the lows right here it it, it played a scenario where you know to to sell it if we were under 91 and it literally did that 91 pop back up above try to go above 91 but did not occur it did not happen and right now we're kind of Seeing what it does in Asia. It could continue to move down. This is a continuation play. Play for where it is. Do not buy stuff that is not holding. And in fact, this is the first candle right here on a 15 minute. That is kind of our scenario here. So, you know, the fact that we're above it and we're holding that halfback right there is kind of interesting. Um, can it fail it? Yeah, it could. And then if we look at our setup for Asia, where is Asia going to open? As of now, oh damn. As of now, it looks like we're going to uh, we're going to the downside. Um, which doesn't mean anything, but you know, if it continues to sell below here, then we know we're gonna we're gonna go and see 
we got prices to go see down there so we could possibly go see <clears throat> we could possibly go see uh this 80 and that 60 60 some area down here we could possibly go see uh 62 where it'll be asia's uh gap that we have that they took off from um but We'll play how it is. We'll set up, set up, set up. And uh, if you do set up, use the London close range. You'll see it that um, it literally matches up with that too, that we could literally go see uh, Asia's range down there, which will be, down here somewhere. I actually did that wrong. <laughs> Let me actually set up right now for the day. Let's do a setup, right Dobbs? Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I got a lot of stuff on this chart, so I'm putting an ES on there. That way it's a little bit less things on there. Like I said, I set up, I have that chart to show me where we're at with price, and then I got an emptier chart than that. Um, so let's set up for, let's get rid of all these. Let's get rid of this right now. As of now, this one we're going to keep. We should be at 18 though. Right there. Well, we still got the highway here, and then we could get rid of these. So the interesting scenario today we close London closed gap, London's gap, yeah. Yeah. New York closed its gap. So the only one left is Asia. So we're not saying that it will do it tonight, but it will close that gap. Um, they could do it tonight, but not necessarily. Yeah, there's no guarantee it's going to come down there because, like I said, that you know, with all with the Feds talking, I mean that 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 could literally just you got a lot of action this week. Yeah, so, yeah, it so could be. It's going to make the market move up and down. That's why these, you know, the setup is very important. So you know, it's not oh where it's headed. It it's what it's doing at the time. You know, it it could go up. But if it doesn't, then we're going to continue that trend. Um, it could go down, but until it does it, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to uh, be biased of uh, what what could happen. And this is the scenario right here that we're looking at right here that we could possibly come down and hit that, uh, that low. Mm -hmm. Why off a little bit? There you go. Right there. And another thing, you know, Asia likes to mimic what New York does. So, it's very possible they like, go on down there and close it. Yeah, it's, it's just, the only problem is it's far away. I don't know how many points that is. Yeah, that's a lot. It's like 30, but they 30, could, 40, they 20. could, they could release it. It could we just, are we it, are out of bounds. Yeah, it could candle all the way down there, or it could gap down, and that's another scenario. If it gaps, yeah, that's a scenario. And continue yeah. with the gap. That 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 you know, the big key for it that you got to walk away with is if we just think of it. Think of that price down here. If this is the low on a daily and we go underneath here, we're more likely coming here, this area. I mean, they're going to want to buy down there. I mean, yeah, this is probably going to be a buy, but into time and, right. And, you know, but the scenario is that, <clears throat> you know, like, right, as of now, if we break down here, then we're going to the low. If we already hit the low, is it possible we might go up here? Yes. So until this displays that, oh yeah, we're breaking down underneath, it's good. As of now, say that Asia opens up, they might want that high price. They might want this price before they sell it off. So, and like I said, the feds are talking. So, you know, this week isn't gonna be, uh, uh, it's not gonna be very, um, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be very wild time, but like how you saw in New York today is almost a hundred points from the highs. We did a hundred points um, and they're getting paid on it. So can they do a hundred points back up? Absolutely. They could, yeah. they could literally do whatever they want. And they have reason. Remember, this isn't like a report which lasts like five minutes and they do their little five minute shake. This was literally like two or three hours that they were talking. So can they ramp it back up? Yeah. Cause the scenario could be that, they ramp this up into this reports, into these test testimonials. Um, so the fact that they ramped it up, can they ramp it up again? Yes, they can. 
there's nothing saying that they won't do it. There's nothing saying that they can't do it. But mm -hmm. if you set up, set up, you're going to see it. Now say that they're, they're ramping this up and we're going back up there, right? We want to be mindful of this price up here, you know, and look how it matches up, which is funny. Well, it's not funny, but, you know, it's look how that matches up the price they sold it. So it's kind of interesting that if we're out of place and they're still doing these meetings and they sold from here and then tomorrow they buy back up and then they sell again. I mean, that's not a, a far-fetched scenario because of the fact that they sold it because of the meeting. And it was really before the meeting, before they, before Powell even started talking, they had sold it. So just a scenario that the market does not move like that. Um, it's not supposed to. So when it does move like that, you better believe that it's going to try to fix itself. It's got a fixed price because it moved too far away from that direction. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen it before. It's just, like I said, that report lasted into London's close. So around here, I think it was done. Um, but the scenario was that it was still moving downward. And since it fell half back, what they do, they sold it all the way to lows. Now we're at the lows. And think about that. We're at the lows. Where could we possibly go? Maybe this halfback. And if you take, I mean, just take the scenario of this. We got a high and we got a low. Where's halfback? Right there. Just that that alone right there, you know? But can they sell it down? Yes. Yes, they can. But set up, set up, and you'll see it. You know, like, don't just take a play and be like, oh, I'm good. Because this could open up, wake up, and then come down and sell off to these lows. Because I'm sure... A lot of people are buying down here. And if they're buying options to go back up, they're probably going to send it back down. That's that's another thing that, that they tend to do. When when the options get too heavy at a certain price, and remember where we're at, we're at that price level, price. So people are buying down here. Um, so if they buy too heavy, the market is not going to want to pay them. We're not saying it's going to continue to just tank. But the scenario of how they did at the 200 is that they went down before they came up. You know, so that whole scenario could occur again. It could be that we go all the way down there. You know, like once we feel that, that once we feel this low, we could go down here and not come up into New York, you know, dangle around here and then start moving up into New York. And these people lose. And right here, they're like, you know, they, they'll do something like this. And then by the end of the day, rip it back up like they did with the 200, you know, and then who wins? They don't win. They lose. You know, we stay here the whole day. And what's that going into? This will be Wednesday, right? Today is Tuesday. Yeah, this will be Wednesday. And then Thursday, they flip it around and go like that. It, they could do whatever they want. But we're going to go with whatever they're doing at the time and then, you know, just just trade it for where it is. If you trade it today and you just, you know, this was out of range, it was kind of on the downside. I said, oh, we, we're going 34. 34 was a sell. We went to 02. Uh, London's close popped it up and I thought it was going to go for a ride. After that, you got the 02. You could have shorted up here at 20. You got 02. And then you got to move down to, to this price, which is 100%. That's another thing that you got to realize that we just moved. This is the whole candle body, right? We just did a whole 100% down from that body. And we're trading above. So if we get above all two on this close range, what, what could be the possibility? We already hit half back over here. We're going to eat that like butter and go right up there. So it's it's going to be an interesting week with the feds talking and and it's not small meetings they're they're drilling them about everything they're not literally saying anything because it's not nothing's coming about it there's nothing they could do about it but they're just throwing things out there and the market is going to move on on just that it's just what they're saying because they're going to take money up they're going to take money down what they're not going to do is is not lose and that's exactly what we're not going to do because we're going to set up Yep. Set up and today. Let's, hey, let's area just put, 51, the area 51. Let's just put this. I'm going to put one last thing. I'm going to put, and, and this is why I say trade it on a higher time frame. Let's just do this and put it on a 15 minute, right? 
Like never went above Stangham line, right? So All let's day. add let's add a a, a regular EMA. I trade time. EMAs are based off price. So that's why I don't use them. But let's do an EMA, right? So if you wanted to use something that you're like, okay, this is, I'm in the play here. I'm shorting here. That's your exit right there. That's your exit right there. On each candle, just keep on going down. That's your exit right there. That's your exit right there. Those are your stops. You get stopped out here. Yeah, no, but let's see how much you got. If you short it up here on the highs or you short it this high, 23. That is 29. Did it get you out? No. Well, this is 31. Did it get you out? 23 went up against you. What did you end up getting? Seven. 23 is seven. That's literally a good play right there. You got paid on this one, never stopped you out. You got paid on this one. By the time you're here from here, 23, 24, say you got the worst price ever, right? And you have to stop up there. Are you getting stopped out? No. When do you get stopped out? Here, London's closed. And you know London's closed is probably going to pop it up. So let's say that you took profit and you were looking for another play. And you short it here or here at these highs. Short at these highs, this high or this high right here. And you're like, Yo, I'm shorting right here, this high right here. Or half back of that can. Boom. Where did you get stopped out? Where did you get stopped out before you get five or 10 points? Even with a mini, five or 10 points. And if you set up, right? If you had your setup, how we tell you set up, this didn't get you out after this big move up, right? If you were over here, it didn't get you out. If here, it didn't get you out. So into two, not even two, look at this, into this time frame right here, it got you out right here. Around here, you're, you're literally closing that out. Right here, you're getting stopped out. You're getting stopped out from a play from up here. So if you could take a mini and let it ride down, you get stop, You get out right here, 90, 92 will get you out, right? But say that you, sh you, you were so selling up here at 14, 92, that's, that's 24 points. You know, even with a mini, if you start doing that scenario right there and stop being afraid of uh, p l and taking profit and, and, and going with the trend, right there was perfect. And if you set up the way we tell you set up, you're looking at halfback rejected here and you're going to a low and you have a target. It's that simple. Don't make it super complicated. If you set up, you could have just rolled this down. You could ride this down with two and this is a hundred bucks. It's literally over a hundred bucks. There's 24. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's over 100 bucks right there. Yeah. So say you had two contracts, that's 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 over 100. You have four, that's that's $200 right there. Before it gets you out. Uh certain days would do it, other days weren't. Uh all day today though, from the beginning they didn't they didn't move it up and they sold it all the way down. So after London's close, if you ever took that play after London's close, you would have been all right. The worst case scenario is at this time frame right here, right here, it would have it would have stopped you out right here or here. At seven, and you're at 20, maybe at at 14, maybe. So that's seven points anywhere around. Worst case scenario. But the chart never got you up. Never got you up. You could have took profit anytime at these lows once you got past 10 or 20 points. Anyway, Dobbs, that's it. Shooting for the stars. Let's do it again tomorrow. It was a good day. You could have waited for that uh, meeting to end and waited for it to pull back. And it was a continuation play. Um, the play was, if it was going to turn back to 55 or 50, where they sold it off from, it was going to be in London's close. They did not do that. And they showed us, they showed a sell and you should have gone with the, with the, with the trend at one o'clock. It showed a sell. You could have gone with the trend and, and, and got five or 10 points just on those two plays. You could have got London's close long, and, and, and still, and, and got uh got another five or ten points there. Yeah, so, my play was uh, off of this high low halfback right here was. Yeah, I that's where I, that's where I sold too right there. I actually this, took that long up there. This and was my I sold play it. right here. Got my little piece. Yeah, I took I that done. long and I sold that there, um, because what I figured was like this is halfback right, and then it's gonna go up. So what I figured with this. 
Uh, he, he was still talking. And, and, yeah. And what I what I started saying around this time is like he's still talking, so we're gonna pull back. And I said 34 is gonna be it. And then when they said 23 people were talking, I said, Whoa, this is a sell. I sold right into this. So I, I took it long and I covered here and then I, I sold into this. Now during this time when it when it was near here, I had to cover because of London's close. Time, you have to cover. You got to take profit here because you don't know what London's close is going to do this. You know, you get above that halfback, it was a wrap. It was going up here. And I would I would have been losing, not losing, but it would have been a scratch play. So I took profit. And then you could take this long, but the sell was was there to to, to get as well. Yeah, London close is always the out off of 6 a.m. That is your range. You expect that move to happen in the London close always. Yeah. So, so you got to get out before London's closed. Like if you're yep. selling and it doesn't hit this profit right here, like this target. Yep. And then when you're looking at this and I'm like, well, they're still selling it. You want to continue. Kind of basic, to basic. Because there was no long in it. So like for me, I, I can't take a long when there isn't a long. You, you got to look for the sales. So right here, halfback fail, right? Right here, halfback fail. Right here, we're, we're literally failing halfback, so we could have gone down here. And it was going there, but then time, and that's what we tell you guys, time is the problem. That, you know, it held the lows of London's close right here, and then it popped up. So I was like, oh, boy. So, you know, you got to exit, because if it ain't coming down, guess where it might go up? Um, after that, you you had another short, because it, it showed you, look, this is London's, London's close right here. And look what ended up happening on this candle. Why are we feeling on this close to the downside? Halfback? Oh, okay, let's go down 151. And it went straight to 151. And then it just kept going. It kept giving right here. Like this was 151 right, right here around here. Uh, and it kept giving. So you could have just kept riding with it. Uh, right here, you have your 1, 1 p.m. candle. And this is it right here. Boom. And we're failing halfback right here. And boom, we went all the way to target down here. At 88, was there anything else in it? No, there wasn't. Was there long? No. The only time, like I said, that it looked like we were changing was here. It didn't change direction and here. And we're yet to see this change direction. We still don't have it. Um, can it come back down and swing down? Yes, it can. Right there. Have we come down? Absolutely not. Does it have to come down? Nope. It does not have to come down. But will it come down? It could possibly. It could possibly come down. Um, as of now, it's looking pretty interesting to me um, to see what it does. But like I said, we play what it does, not what we think it's going to do. Because when you start thinking it's going to do this, you start adding to those contracts and you start losing. And you lose a lot. Remember, you got to do what the market is doing. If you go with the direction of what it's doing, you will never lose. But if you start making up your own things, you're, you're going to get burnt. Um, the way we set up, it gives you prices, gives you targets. Do all of them hit all the time? Just about. <laughs> <laughs> but does it tell you you're in the wrong direction? All the time. It's just you have to work yourself out of, of, of what you're doing. Cut your losses because you never know. If you said, oh, London's close is going to the moon, look where it went. So it could have. If we traded above this price, we would have been at this low. Guess where it's going next? We already touched the halfback. We would have gone to that high. That did not work out. Did not happen. So you got to be like, well, let's sell this. And like a day today that's kind of like trending downward, like I said, take one contract and see where it goes. What did it hurt you on the way down? Absolutely nothing. You're going to lose five points. You're going to lose what? Uh, maybe $25. But at the end of the day, you got $50. And the experience. Yeah. And, and and a lot of people don't realize that holding into these into these long drops like this will 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 get you prepared for the next time it occurs. So next time it occurs, you're gonna be like, nah, we're going all the way down. Oh, you, you wanna fail London's close? Oh, that means that we're going all the way to the lows. Let's find a low. And it's literally on the chart. You'll find it literally on a chart and you'll be like, okay, let's just write it down and, and let's Always have like a, a, a stop. Some people say, oh, you got mental stuff. No, I have a price right there. Set up a stop. If it goes up there, get out. And and then you have a reason that you got out. But don't get out 
uh, just because you know your PL looks crazy because you need to 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 get to that point or set a set a price that you're going oh, I want like 10 more points because every move down gave you 10 to 15 points 10 to 15 points every drop and this candle right here set it for you so if you look at this candle 50 and this is 18 right so that was 22 points so each each four hours should have gave you 10 to 15 points so let's say uh well this this move right here gave you Let's see, from the lows to the highs, it was five, and this gave 20 points to the high, right? On the downside, it gave you the same. So when it says sell here, right, uh, 20 points would be 90. So you literally hit 90 on this candle. Was there any playback that on it? No. Now here, this is 1,300 right here. If you were late to the play, right, if you ain't take that short up there, and you're selling into these two candles, be these two candles right yeah these two candles do you get 10 or 15 points when i told you to sell here even if you say oh i'm late to the play now let's see let's say that you shorted here somewhere in this candle and you got 97 did you get you got at least 10 points here 87 you had target here if you set up you see the targets and if you set up the way we showed you to this gave you 88 which was one of our targets now um do you get 84 yeah you get 84 it's it's the sweep of the low, but it could just stop here and take take off. You never know what's gonna do it. But at the same time, if you sold here, let's say you sold in this candle and you got 97 by the end of the day, it, it came to see you, but did you lose? No. But did you get out right here at 92? You still got five points right there. So you're still winning. And that's what we try to do. Try to make you in the mindset of that if it's going in that in that trend, follow the trend into a dozen you know what i mean um now like i said there's some vets in here that they're killing this up here they're killing it down here they're killing this because of how we set up and then right here they're killing this move down when it gets here i mean they're out at 88 they don't need to get this price but you can scalp it you can a little scalp after after price you know let leave a runner to 84 you know what i mean or or take price here and leave a runner from up there and you're good you know, but you know, it all depends how you want to build your 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 um, your confidence in trades, and and if you, are you willing to stick it out um, for a longer duration. If if your risk is 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 lower, ride it out longer. Uh, if your risk is higher, take take profit where you're supposed to, and that's literally where I've moved towards where I take profit where I'm supposed to. Um, I don't let it keep going down I, I i don't like watching it all day i can't sometimes so i i take profit i get my five to ten points and then i'm i'm good Leave you know we talk time. about setup setup you know it's more to it than just drawing it you got to study it go yeah. back and look at it after you've drawn it out look at it after price has filled it up study the chart and see what it did how do you think i came up with area 51 on one side then it goes to the other side you know, it's it's always looking back at the chart. It's always yeah. going to show you, and you'll get comfortable. You know, um, you'll get used to it. So you'll you'll be expecting what it's supposed to do. So and you'll start trusting it more once you see it. But it's more than just a setup. It starts with a setup. You got to draw it, but you got to go back in the day and actually look at the chart and see what it did. Watch it bounce from here. Where did it go? It went to this half back. Well, what did it do then? Well, it went down or it went up. It does the same thing every day. Yeah. There is a and, progression. And the other thing is we went right back to 12, like we were talking about in the yep. video. We're like yep. just going back to 12, which is the same movie right. been playing. This whole yeah. range has just been playing over and over and yeah, over. Yeah, like right here over. when we came down, I was like, we're back at 12. I can't, I can't stand this. <laughs> back at 12. Which is that scenario that we just can't right here on this candle. Look, London's close hit 12, like literally, and then fell under. I was like, oh my God, 12 again. So somebody's getting in a mass position in this it area. It has to be. I mass, think, I think we've been percentage. in this range for I don't know how long. Yeah, I think more likely that that um I think that that the 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 feds are gonna pivot and then they're they're gonna drop the market in October. But right now, I, I don't think. I don't think this market is coming down the way they expected. They're getting in a position. 
Yeah, they're going to they're going to big position. Up. Now I'm talking about maybe even a five year plan could be a seven year plan, but somebody yeah. is getting in the position in this area. Yeah, th this is going to be literally the area that holds for a long time. Now, can we swing underneath it? Yeah, we could. Um, I think they will. I think it'll shoot up and then come back down and take out this this low. I'm not even sure if they hold that long now. But I think I think they just they're trying to run this up really it could hard. Be. It could they're be. trying to make the yearly high right now. I think. Um, I think they make the yearly high on this move up. That's literally what I'm thinking that they're gonna make a yearly high, a new high, uh, because I March is usually like a, a down move. Um, it's one of the biggest down moves, March. And if we look at the yearly, let's go back to this yearly real quick. If I'm gonna call it. 43.33, I'm going with the threes. 43.33, that's the high we're going to. I mean, unless they're going to drop this market really, really hard right now, it, it look at look at these curves that it's doing. Like, it's high. Look, up, high, right? Here, high, right? What do we expect here? You know, right now, for, for, for this to drop right here, it wouldn't make sense. It has to do this and then come up, come down and drop. But they're like, you know, the market only gets paid off 401ks and stuff. So, you know, like for them to, to sell this right here, I, I, don't, I just don't see it. I see them pushing it up and then selling it down. It's, they won't make money because everybody's shorting this. The way they make money is for them to squeeze it up and then yep. sell it down on people. They need to get people, always a buy. Yeah, they, they need to get people into it to be like, oh, yeah, this, this is going to, we're done with this move down. And they're trying to make, I think they're just trying to make like this interest rate scenario and all this uh, a thing of the past, not a thing of the past, but just like if you keep hearing something over and over again, it becomes less important. You know, like everybody's like, yeah, but we're inflation and we have, and we, we're going in a recession. Yeah, you know, like, okay, we, we, we said that a hundred times. Is the market dropping? Nah, these guys are lying to us, and then they'll start buying. <laughs> and when they start buying, that's that's when uh, because people will, you know, people will stop buying stuff. They'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna stop buying new cars. I'm gonna stop buying clothes. I'm gonna stop spending money. And they're gonna be like, how do I save my money? They're gonna be like, oh, you know what? I could put my money in a 401k. <laughs> okay. I could put my money into. Good luck. But that's what they think, because that's what, you know, that's what they, they train people to do, to be like, oh, yeah, I could just invest my money, and that way it's secure into the future. And even if the market drops, it's always going to recover. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's literally what, you know, it's going to make the market go up. People are going to spend less, but they're going to put money, they're going to say, what am I going to do with money in the bank? Money is not going to do anything in the bank. It's just going to stay there and I'm not going to get interest. And if I invest in, in stocks right now, stop buying stuff and go on vacations, creating this demand, it'd be all right. And then that's when the, that's when the market will drop. <laughs> when those people start spending on stuff and think that uh, the market is a good investment. It's, it's going to happen because they're going to see that the market isn't dropping. Yeah. And if we make all time high, they're going to be, they're going to get the FOMO. They're gonna be like, I gotta get in there right now, Dobbs. And then they're gonna buy the high. Yep. We're going 4,800. I think all of this is done. You know, they, they call recessions late. <laughs> when they call recessions, this is how, how they talk. When they yeah. call recessions, we're already out of it. <laughs> we're out of it. So, you know, once they're gonna, they're gonna call this and we're gonna be out of it, I'll miss uh, the play. I'm gonna uh, miss the play. That's what I'm telling you. That's what they say. Yes, that's, that's they what say they them. say. That's how I got say. a lot of lines on this chart. Um, we don't care much for them. Let's get rid of this line. This is a four-hour line. Boom, there you go. A lot going on here. We don't need this line either. Boom, let's get rid of that. Yeah, all we're playing is this low, this high, and this halfback. As yep. of that's all we need. And maybe this halfback right here. Let's leave this halfback. The dailies are kind of more important, as you've seen today. Um, because we knew we had a pullback because we, we left a lot untouched and we, we literally went back and touched it. So what chart am I showing now? No, you're on the daily, I thought. Oh, okay, yeah. So, one year, one day, MES. So so we, we cleaned up a lot of stuff on the downside. There's still things to clean up. So yeah, I, I believe price is gonna come down. 
But I think they, they're going to want to sell it up. But right here, look, all these halfbacks got cleaned up on the one hour. A lot of price got cleaned up on the one hour. Um, we'll see what happens. But set up, set up, set up. That's all you got to do. Once yep. you set up, this is how you set up should look right here. Let's do it real quick. This is how you set up should look. And let's do our, our ranges. And that's how I go off. Of. Everything else I got on this chart, like I said, Use one chart for, for, for uh, Asia and then use one chart for London's clothes. Uh, today I ain't set up, so I, I didn't really trade much. I traded a little bit. Um, and, you know, it, it was also the fact that uh, the feds were talking and I was recovering. I actually took yeah. off today and I was relaxing today. Um, but let's see where we're at coming into, uh, into this market right here, into Asia starting up. I think I'm off a little bit. Here. There's little things like that that will kill you. Not necessarily, but boom, right there. Oh, I'm completely wrong again. Oh. And like I say, what, what I tend to do, and you'll see it on my charts, it'll just be a solid line. And I... I identify my prices or my lines by color. So I know mentally where I'm at. Even though I have this line here, the, this color right here is for my daily. My my uh, four hour is yellow. So, and then this one I keep solid. Boom. And this one kind of throws me off still because of the fact that um, I'll have to label it. If I don't label it, then I don't know where I'm at. But if you label last night, you saw that we held half back and we kept going to the highs. So, you know, until um, I think to 5 a.m. and 7 broke it down. And we went right to the lows and it just sold off. So this is 51. Yep. This is half back. And, and the thing is, like, if you don't trade Asia, you don't have to. But this relays right into 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 uh, New York, because if we're breaking out, we're breaking, uh, we're breaking up or we're breaking down, we'll be above 151. So there's no need to be taking a play, just because price is moving from the downside and say, oh, we're breaking out, and then it hits half back and rolls over. <laughs> so, so literally look at Asia. If if going into New York, you know, and this is my scenario, we are up here. Yeah, we're breaking out. If we're down here, guess what? We're breaking down. Uh huh. So if we're trading in that in that arrow right here, if we're trading in this little zone right here, then that's it is where it is. Yep. You're gonna have to analyze what time it is and where we're at. Are we at lows, high, or half back? Like literally, it could do its play and oh, something like that, or just break down. But that's the scenario of coming into 1800 that you're going to see where are we at, where it could be our possible target right now. We're below halfback. Um, and I get rid of this. So I don't keep these fibs here. That's it right there. Because I already identified what I'm using. Yep. So I don't need that. And then I'll use a fib. And then from there, I, I, I only run it up to my time frame that I use that fib. And then when the next fib, when the next time frame comes, I use the fib that way. But I do not go past time. So I don't want to, you know, I don't do this. And, you know, I don't do a fib and it goes like that. No. Well, kind of, but not past time. Right here. It'll stop. I don't have to go all the way down there. I just go here. Because as soon as price hits, I, I know what, what my targets are. And that's what I use. That's all I use. Um, do I exit like a chicken here? Yeah. What? So say I'm taking this trade and and, and we're whole, <laughs> yeah, but it, it, the chicken thing works all the time, especially when you're heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so say I'm taking this trade right, and we're like a halfback, and we start trading above halfback, right? Am I going for this target or am I going for 151? I'm going for 151. Yep. Not taking this high target because. You may not get it. Sometimes yeah. it'll turn at area fifty-one. Yeah, and and realistically, candles aren't that big that this is gonna this this is gonna be uh, the scenario. Um, but you see, last night was a perfect, nice long into twenty-one hundred. Then it was a sell, and it was a sell after that. It was only one good long, and it took us to the highs. 
Yep. So it took us, huh? Into midnight. midnight yeah, it took us all the way to these highs. And that's that was the scenario that I'm telling talking about that. Hey, uh, we're up here. I'm not looking for a long up here. You know, if, if if the chart tells me with our setup, if it tells me to go down, I'm not gonna go against what the chart is telling me. Everything that we use helps you dictate that price down move. Yep. If you would have took that sell at, at 9, 9 a.m. up here at the highs and it told you to sell, if you had just a stop above there, right, it never hit you. Guess what it did? Half that and the price that, that, that it was going to hit. So think about that. It, it, it worked on the way down. It worked on the way up. All right, Dobbs, I am done. We are done. We're here. Another great day starting uh, today's Tuesday. So let's get to the end of the week. So knowing where price is headed is our edge. And y'all know the drill. We got to show the disclaimers that you will lose your butt if you don't know how to trade this thing away. Got so many time pass by. Don't know why I'm losing my mind. Ego was so strong inside At this point I just live a lie I just live a lie I wish I could tell you why I wish I could feel you again But I know it's too late And I know you're away There's a chance to apologize no, no, no. It's a goodbye It's just a goodbye Forever and ever You'll never come back Just a goodbye Forever goodbye I sit in my ride Think about you Drive through the night Nothing to lose Strobe city lights They can tell me the truth Tell me what I should do I got nothing to lose I got nothing to lose Thinking about you Drive through the night I got nothing to lose Strobe city lights They can tell me the truth Tell me what I should do I got nothing to lose I said in my Sunny other side